Hey everybody, um, it's CL Miniel, and uh, I'm obviously back for part four of Cave Story. Um, we just beat uh, the rabbit Taroko and King died, and now we're stuck in the labyrinth that Misery sent us to. So we gotta. If I guess I'll show you guys. Um, there's robots down here with me, and uh, if you talk to them, the door won't open, and they just say there's a switch all the way at the top to open the door, but no one can ever get up there to get it. So we have to climb up this area in order to uh, open the door. And uh, there's just more of these blob dudes, but they're purple this time, and they spit crap at you. If you'll notice, they fly up and they spew things at me. Let's see. So we just gotta kill these dudes. And you notice the sword is pretty dang awesome, unless I get hit. But uh, stupid dude. You see, it, it's one hitting these dudes with a 15 damage hit and it's only level 1. So the sword's actually really, really powerful. And uh, I'm an idiot because that dude still kicked my butt. I totally had him though. Got him. And uh, I am just failing at this. Wow. Just really bad. Really fail. Really fail. And, uh, I wonder if we can hit that dude from here. No, we can't. So, this is gonna be a fun one. I hate these dudes. Got him. Ha <laughs> ha. Too quick for that dude. Too quick. And there's more over there that fly up. And we just shoot them in the face with the sword. I don't know. I, it makes me laugh that you get the sword. And what do you do with it? Do you hit them and slash them? No. You throw it. And, uh, fall off the blocks when they start moving because you start panicking. Except you'll notice this dude is standing on a life capsule. Probably could have gotten it on my way back down, but I don't care. Max life increased by five. We're getting a lot of the five increases. It's nice. It's good. So we have to jump on these blocks that move. Um, these ones you have to be careful on because they can smash you and whatnot. And then we find a computer, and yes, we want to open the door. Door opens, and all the robot dudes are like, yeah! Doors open! And you're like, yeah, doors open! So you just jump down this giant pit. And you notice this one doesn't go. He's actually a dead robot. It's sad. And here's another dead robot. And he got killed by these dudes. I always think these dudes look like cockroaches. That's what they look like to me. Like cockroach people. And uh, now we have to do some dodging of these blocks because they try and smash you into the walls and kill you in one hit. Which is not fun. So now we're in the Labyrinth W. And, uh... We're in an actual exploration area now. You see, look, cockroach people! Um, they're pretty easy, though. Everything's pretty easy with the sword. <laughs> it kills things really fast. Um, come in here. Oh, it's the Labyrinth Shop! These ones aren't hostile. You can talk to them. They say stuff like, how lame are you? And this is a terrible LP and stuff like that. Just insult me. You talk to the shopkeeper. Um, he says a burglar ro broke in and took everything, so he doesn't have anything to sell. And then he said he notices, "Oh, you've got something nice there. That's a polar star and a fireball." And uh, he asks to have a look. And if you trade with him, he takes the fireball and the polar star and combines them into a weapon. And it's like the fireball; it shoots like square rectangle shapes that look like the fireballs. But it shoots them in a straight line like the Polar Star. And it actually shoots through walls. And uh, that one, if you're trying to get uh, do the time attack on this game and get a record on the final area, as the final area is timed and you can get, like, there's people records for who's done it fastest and stuff. And if you're doing it, if you're planning on going for a record for that, that's actually the best weapon to get. Um, I can't really talk about it right now until we get there because it's kind of hard to explain without seeing it. But it's the best weapon for the time attack. But... I'm not doing the time attack. I'm really not worried about my time on that area because it's hard enough without worrying about time. So I'm not going to get that one either. I've beat the game with all three we with each weapon before once. And that one's pretty fun, but uh, I like the third weapon better. It's more useful for the way I play. So we find a physician, and he heals me, and he doesn't want money. But he has a request. There's a clinic nearby. Go and see if there's any medicine left inside. And you notice Curly Brace is here. So if we talk to her... Um, she says, I, oh, I got warped down by misery. She did too. Um, no one was able to su succeed against them. She tried her best, but this is where she ended up. And she couldn't protect the images. 
And she says she can't get out because her body's in too bad of a shape. So we have to go to the old clinic and see what we can find there. And fight these stupid cockroach people. The sword's another one that you can throw it as fast as it disappears. So it's really good against tough enemies. And it's level 3 now. And at level 3 you'll notice it throws... Like, it's like the after image of King, basically, and then slashes as it goes. And it's actually one of the best weapon against bosses. And if I can make this jump, I'll show you what it does. Um, if I hit an enemy with it, it stops there and then slashes everything around it. And everything it slashes, it then slashes off of that. So in large groups of people or on bosses where they have giant target areas, it just hits so fast. So this is the other clinic. We open the treasure chest and get the cure-all. And then a uh, black shape shows up. It's supposed, if you talk to the nurse, she talks about how th this is place is supposedly haunted by a ghost. So this is supposed to be a ghost. He just flies up off the screen and then drops back down onto it. Um, his bubbles hurt me, but I don't care. Cause I kill him really fast with a sword. So he's, he's almost dead already. He's really, really easy. Just don't let him land on you, basically, and you'll be fine. It's pretty hard to die from the bubbles. So, you kill him, and he dissolves. And we're like, yeah, dissolving ghosts! And come back out here. Kill some dudes. And you'll notice there's a spot up there with a breakable block. Um, if you have the machine gun, you can go up there right now. And there's a way you can, like, use the enemy to, like, get hit and knocked up there or something. But I'm not gonna bother with it, as you can just come back later to go up there. But if you have the machine gun, you can go up there right now and get the upgrade up there. So it's kind of nice if you do get the machine gun. That's another area where getting the machine gun actually makes the game a lot easier for your first time through. Is you can go up there now. So we come back in here and... Yeah, here's the cure-all. He's like, oh, you found it! Sorry for the trouble, leave the rest of me. So you have to talk to Curly again and it's the labyrinth and there's only one way to escape. And there's a rock in a separate chamber, but she can't help me because she's in a bad shape. And talk to the nurse. She's like, thanks for helping. And she's like, dude, was there really a ghost? That's the chest. In case you didn't see the chest in the corner there, that's the path I was talking about that you can't go with unless you get the machine gun. So, um, that's what's up there is that chest. That's how you get to it. We'll come back later and get it. There's an upgrade we have to get before we can do it, though. The sword is another one that if you get hit at all, I know for a fact the sword, if you get hit at all, goes down to level 2. Like, it's only got one hit on it at level 3. And I just lost that hit, because I'm an idiot. Um, but we'll go this way. And this is this is where we get to do some of the fun platforming, because that'll smash you if it gets too close, but there's spikes on the other side, and this one comes up, and you have to drop, and it spikes, and there's water, and... Um, I think this, the level 2 version of the sword, actually does less damage, um, sometimes than the main one, than the first level, because it hits a bigger area. But if you don't get a direct hit, it'll only get partial damage. Um, but yeah, we have to fight the way through these stupid cockroach dudes. And there's a very good reason that I'm making sure I kill everything on my way here. Because I, in about five seconds here, I'm going to want to make sure every single thing in this hallway is dead. And that's why. It's boss time. You notice there's a gate there. And this stupid thing we crossed now. And that's why I hate this boss, is because he comes driving onto the screen. The first time I got to this dude, I wasn't expecting him. And he actually killed me when he came onto the screen. Because if he hits you with his wheels, um, he runs you over and it does a lot of damage. So it's a good idea to not get hit by the wheels. And he will drag you through that gate and it does damage to you if you're not careful. So we have to... There's green things. I'm not doing damage to him yet. There's these green, those green things in there shooting stuff at me. I have to break those before I can do damage to him. So we'll show you the sword and it being really good on bosses. Um, even level 2 is... Actually, I think level 2 does more damage on bosses than level 3 does. Because you can just throw it so fast. It's ridiculous. But it's easy if you just hop between his legs till he stops his things. And yeah, see, now we can hit him. And, uh... Yeah, see, 234 that one time that he just came down there. So we'll see how much we can do with a level 3 sword unless I lose it right there like I just did. So I guess we won't see that. We'll do this way again. Yeah, see, we still did about 200 damage there. So the sword's really good against bosses, basically. And I knew it was gonna kill me! God dang it! Dragon son of a... Monkeys... Punching the... Kidney stones... Slapped... 
in the freaking face and chickens and I guess I'll run back there! As you can see, him running you over is not a good thing to let happen, as it does lots of damage. At least I didn't die, don't die anymore when he comes onto the screen like the first time, where he just comes flying on the screen and it was just BOOM taken out. Because I didn't know what was going to happen. I was like, boss bar? Where's the boss? BOOM! There he is! Luckily for me, I don't think the labyrinth is going to take that long, so I don't think it's going to make the part too long for me to not cut this. Um, let's kill this stupid blob, dude. There we go. And he dropped health I don't need. What a jerk. Gotta run back through this area. At least I haven't died to something stupid yet. It's only been bosses so far. In the last two parts. But still, I should be better than this! As you'll notice, this is actually the boss right here you run over. I just didn't say anything last time, because... You didn't know that it was the boss. So, we gotta kill these stupid cockroach people. I'm gonna bubble him, I think. And here he comes again! The people aren't dead yet. Woo! Got him. Okay. Back to the sword. Wait for him to stop. There we go. Yeah, as you can see, with the level 2 sword, I managed to kill three of the four parts in there the first time he stopped. I always land right in front of those wheels. I freaking hate this boss! This is my worst boss in this entire game, I think. Oh, I only blew up two the last time. We'll get him next time, though. We'll get all the last part on. Ooh, almost ran me over. Oh, we got him this time. That's the 180 right there already. And I think he actually closes after a certain amount of damage or time, probably, because sometimes he stays out longer, and when I do a lot of damage, he doesn't stay out for very long. 252 that time. Not bad. And I'm gonna bubble these dudes. The fish. The flying fish. Gosh darn it! Every time! So I blow him up, finally. He explodes, and a cat comes out for some reason. And it's Monster X! I don't know why a cat comes out. I guess there was a cat driving it or something. A giant cat for some reason. So yeah, there's that boss. He's a pain in my butt. This is a key point. Key point right here. You saw that per um, someone just fell right there? That was Professor Booster. If you want the best ending, you cannot jump down this pit. If you jump down this pit, you can get um, the normal ending. But if you want to do the best ending, you don't go down there. I cannot stress this enough. Don't go down there. And this jump has to be perfect. If I fall down the pit, I have to reload. That's why I made sure to save it. Is because if you mess up the jump like that, you can't get back out. So I have to reload the game. Um, I don't know if I can. Oh, there we go. Quit to the main menu. Load the game. This red dot right here on the ground is supposed to be like a place marker of where you're supposed to jump. But it's still, it's going to take me a couple jumps here. Because I, I want to get the good ending. And I you can't jump down there if you do. You can't go talk to Booster. Nope. No dice. See how many times it takes to get this. Okay. Whee! Yeah! Made it. So you make it over to here. And it's the boulder chamber. So you talk to Curly. She's been waiting. And if we move this rock, we can get to the end exit. There's a creature's lair up ahead, so we have to be prepared for anything. So we grab the rock, and it's still too heavy. We'll move it all. Maybe it's impossible to move with the two of us. And you know who that is? It's Balrog. And Curly just says, oh, it's you. And he's like, oh, you're trying to escape. You shouldn't be resisting. You can't defy the master any more than I can. And then he says he's going to end this. And then uh, Curly just says, you can grab the middle. He just runs over and grabs the boulder for us. <laughs> and he's sorry for listening at me at all. So then Curly gets knocked out. So now we have to fight Balrog. Only this time he has missiles. Who does he think he is? Me? You can't have missiles. Only I'm allowed to have missiles. And he gives me a Balrog hug. I don't like Balrog hugs. Stop it. 
And I am really low on health, so I hope I get him dead here pretty quick soon. Oh, goodness! <laughs> okay, I think I can take one hit in there. There we go! So close! No chance to heal between this and the last boss, so... So we defeated Balrog, and he says he'll move the rock for us because he beat it, but he can't. we can't tell anyone that he helps. So we say we'll keep it a secret, and he gets super enraged and chucks the boulder. So it's our secret that he helped us, and he leaves. And he drops a chest. He might actually be one of the good guys. And we get the missile upgrade! So now our missiles do a lot more damage. Now is when I consider them really useful. Um, they're pretty useful before now on bosses that shoot projectiles at you because it takes out the projectiles and still hits them. But now they're actually really useful. And now it is time for my least favorite area of the entire game. I hate this place so much. There's stupid cockroach people. Oh wow, my bubble went all the way down to level 1. So there's these fan dudes, although the music here is pretty awesome, I have to say. Um, and then there's these stupid blue ninja d Oh my goodness. The blue ninja cockroach people that throw invulnerable projectiles at you. That kick my butt, apparently. This is why I hate this area. These du Those stupid ninja dudes kick my butt. What the f freaking fracking son of a monkey's cracker and jack was that? Totally killed that cockroach. Like that. Okay, we're getting some health this time, so I should be okay, I think. And we're actually gonna take a second here to shoot these blue things on the ceiling as they can drop power ups and health. Although I can't reach the health, but more importantly, I got the bubbler upgraded. So we killed that blue ninja dude. Because they're a pain in my butt. Get some health. Um, get a ton of power-ups. Oh, I gotta upgrade my missiles because they are apparently way down at level 1. So we've got purple blob dudes and ninja stars and more blob dudes and spikes and fans and ugh. I don't like it. I don't like it. Two purple dudes and another purple dude and health and power-ups. At least at this point you have Curly helping you. The machine gun she's using right there is the machine gun um, that you can get from trading her. And uh, if you do trade her, she actually uses the Polar Star at this point while you're using the machine gun. So, it actually changes what weapon she is using here, which is kind of cool. Um, and these stupid ninja dudes! They're the bane of my existence! My goodness. I'm always so close to dying. I just want a healing... One of the healing computer things. Drop down this pit... See if we can get any health from these things. Get some missiles and some power-ups that I don't need. And you'll notice Curly actually has a bubble when we go underwater. I don't. Now there's these stupid slime generating things. Um, Curly is pretty good at taking them out, but these small dudes distract her. So if you can keep the small dudes under control, she can usually kill them pretty quickly. Or you can just use bubbles and take out the small dudes and the hives at the same time. Um, kill the bubble dudes. Take out this stupid thing. Maybe. Maybe not, apparently. Anytime, you stupid thing. There we go. So there we go. And you can't jump out of the water enough, so we gotta jump from that point. And more of the stupid hive things, but I don't care. I'm just gonna try and skip these ones. Seems like a terrible plan at this point, actually. We got another purple dude that won't die. There we go. Uh, I think I have to run back. Uh, yeah, I do. Uh, I feel like I'm playing Super Metroid without the gravity suit. Uh, it's so slow. Okay. Stupid Curly and her bubble that go super fast. Underwater. Woo! Made it that time. And another stupid son of a fan. And look at that! There's like nine ninjas! What is this crap? Uh, I don't like this. Yeah, missile you. Curly, go take him out with your invincibility. Oop. And there's a computer right here. And if you use it, there's a button. And I push it. And that drops right there. And now I can fall down this. And there's a teleporter here. 
if you take the teleporter, it takes you back to the labyrinth shop. I recommend you don't jump down over right there because you can't get back up here and you have to run all the way back around. So it's not a good idea to try and save it at this point. I found that out the hard way. So we have to keep going. And we get to the bubbly cloud dudes. I hate the bubbly cloud dudes. Um, as when you kill the big one, the tiny ones come after you. I guess you could solve that by killing the tiny ones first, but who wants to be intelligent with the way they fight enemies? Ah! They're everywhere! Okay. This is why I hate the cloud dudes. Because they're annoying. Luckily, they don't do very much damage, though. Not very much at all, actually. No, I do want those missiles and that health. Finally done with this area. And we get to the dark place. And Curly's all, are we still in the labyrinth? We can't get through here. We have to keep moving forward. Okay, time to save it. Save point! And I think we have time to do this in here. Now we're in the core. This is part two where your decisions here change the entire rest of the game. So, we open the first blast door. Blast door number four currently malfunctioning. Gotta go fix blast door number four. It's stuck. Let's shoot things at it till it comes unstuck. Yeah, it works! You hear the sound of something breaking free, and it opens. But now there's another door in our way. So, what we get to do is come all the way back and use this computer console again. And this is some of my favorite music in the entire game, this room. Some of the best stuff, in my opinion, is this one. So we gotta come down here and run through this water area. I don't know why Curly can't do this. She has a air bubble! So we gotta wait for the water to go down enough I can jump and open the blast door. Blast door opened! Run through the water again. I have some really bad weapons at this point. Now, do not talk to her if you want the good ending. Do not talk to her. You need to come over here and get this item right here. And I take it, and it's the tow rope. This is very important. If you talk to Booster, that item is not there. That's why you can't jump down that pit and talk to Professor Booster, is you cannot get that item if you do. And this becomes the saddest game in the history of the planet if you don't get that item. Trust me. So we come up and talk to Curly, and there's a soldier from the surface, and he's been nearly destroyed. And there's a bunch of them everywhere, and they're like, What's going on? All these robots are destroyed! And it is activating, because it's functional. Team 9's terminated, unable to eliminate the target. Destruction of target is impossible. Retreat, retreat. And the door closes so we can't retreat. And then he explodes, taking Curly out, so I have to do this by myself. And... What have we here? It is the boss! This is a... That's a pretty tough boss. But it shouldn't be too bad. Now Curly's awake! So Curly can help us, and the water rises and falls, making it harder to jump. So you have to hit him when his eyes are open, basically, is what it looks like. His eyes, I guess, are open, is what it's supposed to be. But he has these little ones that he run, that run around and open up, too, to block him, basically. So you have to hit the big one. The big one's the only one that takes damage. The small ones just shoot stuff at you, and if they get knocked out, they stop shooting stuff at you. And I need to go get out of the water, because I'm going to die. And I might die. <sighs> F this game. Um, I'm done for this part. I have never had that happen before. In the, like, four times I've beat this game before now, I have never done that. Um, with that, that is going to be the end of this part. It's already 25 minutes. Um, thanks guys for watching, and I guess we'll fight this boss at the beginning of the next part. Uh, bye.